This is Twit. Intel Micron announced 3D NAND production with the industry's highest density, greater than 10 terabytes on a 2.5-inch SSD. Uh, if you're not excited about this, I don't know what your damage is <laughs> on my lack of sympathy. Uh, yep. uh, my lack of sympathy uh, uh, bend, I guess, this evening. So uh, it's interesting. So their 3D NAND is a little bit different from others. Uh, Sebastian wrote this up on PCPer.com. Quote, the implementation of floating gate technology and unique design choices has produced startling densities of 256 gigabit MLC and a whopping 384 gigabit with TLC. Um, this is really interesting um, because this uh, technology is going to allow greater than 10 terabyte capacities inside of a standard 2.5 inch SSD form factor, 3.5 terabytes on M.2 form factor drives. Um, this is awesome. Um, five packages of 16 stack dies with 384 gigabit TLC. We're talking about greater than 3.5 terabytes. Um, so what's interesting also is that apparently it's not, uh, uh, it's funny, Sebastian points out that uh, Intel didn't comment on this, uh, but they said they could be using roughly equivalent to 50 nanometer flash with this new 3D NAND um, so that it wasn't actually a die shrink, although it seems like Intel was kind of just not talking about that. Um, but the flip side of that is like a larger process in case, in this case, 50 nanometer MLC, um, could it give increased endurance? Um, mm -hmm. You know, Sebastian also notes that Toshiba just entered the space, announced, uh, they announced their 48 later, 128 gigabit density 3D NAND. Um, it like Samsung moving away from floating gate. So it's kind of an interesting split in the industry with Micron and Intel going one direction and Toshiba and Samsung kind of going in another. Um, they're going to be expensive out of the gate, but I just, I am thrilled with the idea of having a freaking... <laughs> <laughs> you ten your, terabytes. Your, your new your new coworker over there tested will uh sent me a tweet asking me like when are we actually going to see three and a half terabyte M.2 drives exactly? Several years from now. <laughs> I don't think it'll be that long. I think really? I think that it'll be twenty sixteen that you'll that you'll start to see this technology, right? Because I mean this is just a technology right. announcement, but again, it's using older technology, like older process tech. So it should mm -hmm. not be a large ramp up. It will be expensive at first. Um, but I mean, the main driver of 3D NAND is higher density, lower cost, right? That's right. what happened with the 850 series from Samsung. The Samsung 850 SSDs use 3D NAND and they're high performance, high endurance, lower cost. So right. uh, I expect Intel and Micron to kind of push forward on this faster than maybe you would normally see because of the lead that Samsung already has and the, the kind of increasing competition in the 3D NAND field. So I think probably by 2016, you'll start to see consumer grades integrations of this. Um, maybe not up to the 10 terabyte or three and a half terabyte implementations, but Even if it was uh, a mere five terabytes, you'd take it, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'd take it with a smile on my face and a song in my heart. At least yeah. if they could keep it, you know, it, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see what the initial pricing is like and how fast it does or does not scale. But part of their approach to this is trying to use, you know, a relatively proven technology that's not going to cost them a fortune to bring online. I'm excited. To say the very least, I want I a ten too. terabyte, two and a half. Yeah, I mean anybody I who works with video, I would like. Yeah, I would like my entire video collection on my my laptop everywhere I go. That would be mm -hmm. a little bit nuts.